Now, one my good old subscriber is something C1 with a shitty talker account, which is a secondary filler account where he posts all his miscellaneous crap, has basically focused a lot on the refuting fringe elements perspective of the defense too. Well, he hasn't really refuted it. He's just said that it's really status and kind of bullshit. And he's basically said that this is the final issue anti-status need to deal with. Personally, I think he's taking the internet way too seriously, but considering that he's one of my subscribers and he really does have a lot of interesting videos, I'm going to actually take some time to have my views on the defense too because around the time I started making videos again and left hiatus because as you remember I deleted all my videos in early 2010 and then started a new a few months later back when I wasn't political so when I finally started making videos a lot which was in mid-June it was near the end of this defense do bullshit so Here's my perspective on defense in a stateless society. Now, I'm not a fan of guerrilla warfare, but I certainly don't advocate um, the hierarchical warfare we have now where there's these official battles and shit like that. Now, although I don't have all the answers to how defense would work in a stateless society, uh, what I'm trying to do is think, well, how will dealing with states be easier once stateless societies start kicking in, becoming rampant? Well, it'd be easier to deal with states because the only place where states would exist at their best are cities, since states form naturally with... In cities where there's high population clusters, and they eventually start to become bullshit if not dealt with and turn to impossibility once shit like the Hammurabi's Code kicks in and states try to consolidate past their city structures. That is, they try and take land that. They claim, and it isn't really something that they homestead, which is either a town, rural area, or suburbia, or even nothing, even a completely natural, untouched area, unkempt. Like my hair. Yeah. And it'd be d easier to deal with states that are city states that have made a natural state structure because. With places like that that have natural hierarchies, it's easy to get rid of centralized parts like the train systems or the computers that run these train systems, schedules, the buses, where they're going to go, even the airplanes, the roads, and all this crap, even the bridges. There's so much stuff that you can screw up with natural city-states that would exist once stateless societies become the main stream. And so... <coughs> it's what I think would happen. What happens is that warfare between a state and a stateless society would be organized in a non-hierarchical format. There's not going to be some official army that's taking on another official army. It's going to be a little bit more there's going to be something to focus on the polycentric nature of the stateless societies and to focus on the non polycentric, the monocentric nature of the stateist society. Excuse me, I was jumbling with my terminology. I tend to do it a lot more because I'm speaking a little faster. But in general, that's the way I'd see it. Now, I understand that to get the free rider problem is a big shit right now. 
because apparently it's hard to voluntarily get all these resources to engage in warfare and the sort of rationing system that we had back in the day didn't really make much of a difference in terms of warfare but rather war morale but here's the thing uh, for that for management of the war not really with the rules of the war or the advantages of getting into a war with a natural state you're gonna have to ask state exempt so this video is directed towards my good old friend something C I'd advise something C to check out my friend state exempt he's working on he, he's, he's one of those channels where I put in my main profile you can check him out he's writing a book in 2014 which tackles defense in a stateless society and militaries and all this shit another thing you can ask me is that how do I assume that natural states will form well if anti-statism ever becomes a popular thing and starts taking off and societies become more and more stateless you can expect that places like this city right here New York are going to be status regardless of whether or not that happens and if New York City Manhattan New York tries to get in war into war with Westchester New York then Manhattan would be a little bit more centralized along with Bronx and all the places Manhattan's connected to all these natural states so it'd be easier for let's say all these five boroughs to consolidate into one and say alright this is as far as we can consolidate if we're going to get engaged in a war we don't want it to be guerrilla warfare because we'd be screwed and they'd be screwed all that we have to do is make them as miserable as possible but they can bring us to chaos because we're monocentric and they could ruin our MTA scheduling, they could hack our computers, they could bomb the metro train and make shit really miserable for us as well. So we're gonna have to organize in some way. It's not gonna be hierarchical, it's not gonna be this center army and center battle system that wars usually involve themselves with. Like how there's a main battle. You have to burn the flag. Remember in the Revolutionary War? The war was determined by who burned the other motherfuckers' flags. Yeah, you, it'd have to be something like that, but it's not going to be hierarchical. It's not going to be a main center warfare. It's not going to be an end-all, be-all warfare. It's probably going to be organized a little bit differently. Not in a simple manner, but in a marginally less complicated manner. And that's what I've come up with. As for how we're going to get these resources, you're going to have to ask state exempt. Personally, I don't know how much. I think that in a free market, things would be a lot more cheap. So it would be easier to obtain read these resources. But where are you going to get this money from? And are you going to produce enough of this shit? That involves a lot of market esque things and a lot of stuff that I hope state exempt can do. Not just for the individual anarchists, but also the social anarchists as well. So I'm going to have to call him out on that. Yeah. So this is Mr. Wonka 7, or Leon Red, or whoever gives a fuck, and suck my dick.